Okay, uh, now we're back. I went ahead and I cleaned up a lot of the line work that needed to be cleaned up, a lot of the extra lines that don't need to be there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a little bit of depth and not perspective. And here's what I mean. Perspective, you'll be able to see different angles. We're not gonna look at angles. We're gonna see thicker lines from part of the building that's closest to us. So the closest thing to us is this eave right here, and I'm gonna make that darker. And so to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and use, I probably should use a, a seven. Um, or you know what, I'll, maybe I'll use a nine. Let's see what a seven looks like. I can always, because I want this line to be thick, but I don't want it to be too thick. So go ahead and do this. And this. Here, and here, and actually I could probably make it a nine because I can make this a seven and over here I can make that a five. Um, I did slip up right here a little bit, so I'm going to clean this up. Probably don't have to if I'm gonna use the nine. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the nine on this side. Kind of tore my paper, but that's okay. Yeah, so the nine works really well on this. So you can tell that this is Closer. Now, don't do like I did and push down. Go over it back and forth smoothly. I'm glad that happened so I can show you exactly what not to do because that's just as important as what to do. All right, so that's a pretty thick line. I need to get this line thick as well. And I'm going to go ahead and make this line the same same thickness same with this one so I'm not I'm not gonna go over it a few times I'm just going to uh, do that uh, the thickness of the windows I'll use the same here here. All right. So even just looking at it right now, you can see that this, these, these line weights are more prominent than the ones back here. You can get a little perception of depth um, based off of just looking at the thickness of this li these lines that I just went over versus the lines back here. And so that's all, that's all an elevation should show. It should show a little bit of depth, but not enough to where you get a perspective out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use um, five right here. Just darken it up. Darken this up. And then now,
Okay. Uh, oh, I need to do. And there you go. So there you have it. Um, that is how you can show a little bit of depth is by thickening the line weights. So your thicker lines, uh, at least on my floor plan, are on this side uh, versus the lines over here. I could have gone even thinner. Uh, in fact, when I do go to do a little bit of the, the details, um, you know, I might put a person right here. I might use thinner line work. Um, now I can start doing a lot of the uh, details for each window. Um, I could put in a little bush right here. You know, maybe there's a tree here. And I can just And I'm gonna make this, the, this tree see-through on purpose because I want the client to see more of the building that I've designed for them. Um, I can show a little shading and still be able to see see-through, um, but I'm gonna hold off on that until I, I can start inking. And once I ink this, then I'll, I'll show you how to shade. But yeah, I've already showed you how to shade using pencil. Uh, now I wanna show you how to do it in ink. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and add details to these windows. Um, I'm definitely going to add a person here because there's a, there's a front door right here. I probably could add, um, you know, maybe a planter here or I can show a little bit of plants or, you know, maybe just bushes. There you have it. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, the details of the window in this next video.